An American Revolution in Talk TV is here. NRA News, Cam and Company on Sportsman Channel. You know, we talk about the, the world of, of, of MMA and ultimate fighting and the, the sportsman world. There really is a tremendous amount of crossover, I think. Traditionally, the combative sports, especially are blue-collar sports, and and I think uh, be, you know, being in the woods, being in the outdoors, and that lifestyle is, is part of how a lot of us grew up. Yeah, is that how you grew up? Absolutely. Yeah. Pacific Northwest in Seattle. My dad started taking me hunting when I was five years old. It always goes back to family, it seems, you know? The lessons that you learn from, from a dad or from a grandfather out there in the field, and, and you carry those lessons with you. Absolutely. I think uh, there's, there's just something about, the, about being out, uh, you know, being with your dad and learning, those, learning how to survive the cold, the wet, as it was in Seattle. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I can remember being in the woods and being soaking wet and having freezing feet and him taking my shoes and socks off, and I thought he was nuts. But he put them on his chest and he rubbed them until they were warm again and then you know, took the sandwich bags and put those on my feet before he put my socks back on and I was warm and dry the rest of the day. I would have never thought of it. Those little tips like that, the, the ways that you can go, you know, five more minutes or another, another hour when you think that you've reached the limits of your exhaustion. Again, I mean, take it back to MMA and, and, and a big part of this is working through yourself, fighting yourself, yeah, right? Absolutely. We all have those barriers. You, you, you think you're done and you're ready to quit. And, and that's where I think a lot of times your teammates and a good coach come in, even though it's an individual sport mm -hmm. and wrestling was that, so that way too. Your coach has encouraged you and pushed you to, to push that barrier back, to go a little further, a little harder than you thought you could go. And, and that builds confidence. You realize, man, I, I was ready. I, I thought it was done and I want another 45 minutes. It, it, that, you know, that surprised me. What has been your your driving motivation throughout your career i mean is there is it is it something intangible can you even put it in words well it's something i've, I've tried to figure out i think i started wrestling to get my dad's attention you know my dad wasn't around and very often in fact the only times i did see him was once a year he'd come and take me hunting for a week and that was one of the few times i got to spend any real time with him so i think that alone made made hunting and, and being in the outdoors special to me and then mm -hmm. I knew he was a wrestler he wrestled in high school he wrestled a little bit in the Navy and and so I think I gravitated towards the sport simply because of that I thought maybe it would get his attention and be around a little more and it turned out it was it was the right thing for me and I ended up winning a state title by the time I graduated high school and that led me to you know service and, and college and college scholarship and all those things so you know, you talk about your time in the Army, 101st, right? 101st Airborne, Fort Campbell, air assault soldier. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, from 19 to 25 years old, it was a pretty formative time in my life. And I think I learned a lot about work, work ethic, and, and discipline that, that my mother had started with me uh, as a single parent, uh, and it carried over to the combative sport of wrestling and then the Army. NRA News Cam and Company, Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Sportsman Channel.